Hello friends, today I am going to show you how bulk insert works in Azure data set. Before going seeing that, let's see that what is the Microsoft documentation regarding bulk inserts in data set. If you see here, uh, Microsoft is quoting that bulk insert, does, uh, bulk insert doesn't fight triggers by default. If you want to capture that bulk insert records, then you need to fight the triggers. Then in that scenarios only data sync can capture those inserts. Let's see that practically. Okay, now uh, I am creating one table with these columns. I already have an object, right? Okay, let's see that. Either I have it or not. Uh, I'm just going to drop that. Drop table cells. Now again I am creating that. I have created the table. Okay. Now see the data. Just uh, it will be now empty table. Now what uh, what I am going to do here? I already have one test data. Here you can see that. Okay. Now I am importing this XCSC file using bulk insert command. When you use the bulk insert command, you when even if you insert one record also it will treat it as a bulk insert bulk insert are minimally logged into the database I am triggering the database here now see that we have five car five rows are there now that this table is not part of the database so not part of the Azure data sync let's go to the sync table here Click on the tables, on prim, select refresh here. Here select the table, click save. When the schema update process got get completed then you need to trigger a sync here now trigger a sync click refresh logs here and here once the sync operation is completed this sync icon will get out from grid If you see here, five changes got uploaded from on-prem to Azure. Let's see, I already connected here to the and just right click on that new query. Select start from sales. Here we will have only five records. Now what I am doing here, I am going here, I am changing the numbers, why because it will be, we have a primary key right, so because of that reason it is not going to insert the data. And click save and close this Excel sheet. Now what I am doing here, I am moving just back here I am going to insert again this record remember one thing here these five changes will not get synced with the Azure database why because we are triggering in the bulk insert options yeah now in Azure sorry in on-prem we have 10 records in Azure we will have only five records even after syncing operation get completed why because the the new records from start start which starts from 6 to 10 those records will not captured by the data sync triggers why because we didn't use any fire triggers option in bulk insert command let's see that 
if you go there the sync group and click sync and click refresh logs you see if you see here you, you now you are seeing didn't uh, that upload option is should is having zero it means didn't get uh, didn't get uploaded any changes and not at all also uploading not also uploaded okay the, yeah sync sync option is grayed out uh, came out from grayed out now click refresh log since it is no changes now see that here we will have 10 records we start from 1 to 10 and now go back to the this one here we have only five records okay now what we have to do here if we want to track those changes we need to use five trigger options let's go to that here test file now I'm inserting here 11 12 just selecting those two columns and highlighting that just click save and close this Excel sheet now open that go back to the here just come down fire underscore triggers and close this option if we use this option then only it is going to fire triggers now see that click execute now that five new fire records got inserted with fire trigger option now these changes only these new changes will only captured by the data sync let's see that now we have fire records sorry 15 records now go back to this and click sync click refresh log here now now you are going to see here in the new record upload five records see here you have seen right now it means it got uh, five rec new the new five records got uploaded into Azure SQL databases go back to that single group and see here you will see only 10 records 1 to 5 11 to 15 what about to 6 to 10 6 to 10 we, we have to manually upload into the database manually insert into the Azure SQL database otherwise if you want to capture that also no problem first of all we need to uh, go to the sync group here select on print here right and un un unselect the table click save Once, yeah, once this selection process got completed, now we need to trigger a sync. What will happen here when you trigger a sync? Uh, we have removed right the table. Then it is going to delete all the settings related to the sales table. If you see that database reprovision successfully. Yeah, now we don't have any new changes. Now what we're going to let's assume that if it is, now it is a small table. What about if we have one million tables? So at that time, if you want to move the sync operation at the end at the destination database, we need to truncate the table. We need to make sure that table is empty. Now that truncate table sales. why because if the table is empty at the destination database the data sync will uh, insert all the records in bulk insert so bubble, but the first initialization will become very fast okay now 
go back to the sink and add the table select the table click save Click sync. Click refresh logs here. Now here you are going to see 15 uploaded 15 records. See? It means the, all the data was uploaded into Azure SQL databases. Let's confirm that. Let's go back to here. Click execute. This is how, see here we have 15 records as well. This is how bulk insert works in Azure SQL data sync. I hope uh, you like this video and I have provided these uh, demo files as well in description so that you can reproduce the, this issue from your end as well. Thank you. Bye.